Well, Mario Gonzalez Roman joins us now from Mexico City. He's a researcher on security, trafficking, and crime, and he's also worked in the U.S. Embassy in Mexico for nearly 30 years. Mario, good to have you on uh, the news hour. Uh, so, was Pablo Escobar the personification of the good, the, the bad, and the ugly? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me uh, in, in this uh, program. Um, um, today uh, is December the 2nd. Uh, in 1993, Pablo Escobar uh, uh, lost his life. Uh, that year, I had completed 20 years of work at the United States Embassy in Mexico City. Uh, what I can share with you is what is public knowledge. Uh, Pablo Escobar uh, lost his life uh, uh, in, in three possible manners. The first one was uh, 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 he was shot in the head by Hugo Aguilar, a Colombian uh, policeman who ended up as a politician in his country. and. Uh, later on uh, became uh, a controversy in the jail by the name of La Catedral or the Cathedral, mm -hmm. where he, uh, Pablo Escobar, just like Chapo Guzman, enjoyed a number of privileges and where he escaped from eventually. Okay. The second version Mario, is that he Mario, was uh, I, I, I assassinated wanna you. By, I want to ask you. Um, yes? It, Escobar became known for his philanthrop uh, philanthropic efforts, uh, which led to him sort of having the nickname in Robin Hood. Was he liked by most Colombians? Was he a well-liked figure? Um, okay, I, I can hardly hear you. Uh, once, you know, during my tenure at the U.S. Embassy, I got kidnapped and tortured. Uh, I have problems with my, my ear bones, so if you can briefly repeat the question, uh, I, I will be glad to answer it. Okay, uh, Mario, thank you. I, what, I, what I'm trying to say is he's known for his philanthropic efforts. Uh, a lot of people refer to him as sort of the Robin Hood of, 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 of South America, of Latin America. Was he well liked by Colombians? Okay, uh, the same applies to just about uh, every uh, organization in Mexico with the cartels. They are people that come from very humble origins. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a, a supporter of the legalization of, of drugs. Uh, Pablo Escobar was no exception. He, he was well liked by the people of Colombia as uh, Chapo Guzman and others are in Mexico. Uh, I, I have an article that I would like to share with your, with your audience that just came on uh, yesterday about Los Maras in, in, uh, in the United States. I uh, ran away from this country during the 1968 uh, riots uh, my, my best friends are three me meters underground in military camp number one in Mexico yeah. City. Uh, the streets of Los Angeles were, were uh, completely invaded by drug pushers, prostitutes in every corner. Um, I also have uh, come to learn yeah, okay. that in the, Mario. Uh, it, Mario. In the UK, Yes. I, I just want to thank you very much for, for coming on to TRT World and actually sort of sharing some of your uh, past experience and sort of shedding a light onto some of his uh, legacy, Pablo Escobar's, who died 26 years ago today. Thank you very much.